Hey there, Art Mancheno here. I had someone ask a question on YouTube as to what exercises I was referring to that help uh, recruit the reticular activating system. And because I had mentioned um, that um, there were certain exercises that could help your mind become more active, which is the goal of uh, the first step of uh, ascension, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as my theory is concerned. Well, it involves extensor muscles uh, of the back specifically. And one thing that's interesting to note is um, that, let's say you look up and you fire off your neck muscles, automatically, because you have posture and balance, it's part of neurology, they all work together, um, the back muscles to support your neck when you look up, so they all fire as well. Um, that's just a little interesting uh, side note. But the exercises that I was referring to that help super uh, excite the reticular activating system, and this is just theory, but it's what worked, um, is, for example, the Superman move, where it's you get on the, uh, on the floor, on your stomach, and you lift off your head and your arms and your legs um, off the ground, and you hold that. It's almost like you're kind of uh, pretending like you're flying in space. And what that does is it fires off a lot of your, your extensor muscles or your, as I refer to them, your anti-gravity muscles. So aside from that, um, the exercises that I would do don't require weights. So you could, um, for example, cause yourself to tighten a bunch of muscles up. And there was one exercise I did in the very beginning which involved um, firing off as many of these muscles as possible, all the muscles, starting off with uh, your extensors, here, your uh, furthest digits here. I would fire off one at a time, and you know, obviously, if you don't practice this, you're not that good at it, but if you focus on it, you can get better and better at refining the, um, uh, the muscle control. And so I would start off with the furthest digit, then the next, and then down, and then do the same thing extending. Um, and then basically, as I was firing off more and more muscles, uh, I ended up trying to fire as many of them at the same time as possible. So I would think, okay, now I'm gonna start firing the biceps, now the triceps, now the shoulders, and so on, so on and on. And this just happened to be at a time when I had just finished studying a bunch of the muscles, the attachments and ligaments. And um, during that time, um, I was very, um, how do you say, educated in, in the amount of muscles we had. And so it was fresh in my mind and um, try to re recruit them all as much as possible. It's very energy intensive. But the point was to try to send as much information, stimulus to my brain as possible. And the whole point of the physical workout is to excite the brain and to make the brain more focused. And obviously using your body to do this. Now there's also um, cross crawl exercises, very important to recruit your right and left hemisphere, which is also important in this process. Um, so when you're a baby, you start off by, you know, crawling on the floor. And one of the best exercises for stimulating neurogenesis, as it turns out, is sprinting. Now that's very intense. Obviously you want to start off slowly and build up to it. And, you know, always uh, ask your doctor if, um, you know, these exercises are, are okay to do because they are intense. Um, so. Let's see what else. Now, after, so there's also, I, I'm, I mentioned that, you know, you don't have to use weights. You just use your own body's resistance. Now, something interesting as far as neurology is, when you fire off your bicep, your tricep automatically relaxes. And that makes sense because you don't want both muscles firing at the same time. You're not gonna really go anywhere. So, but there are exercises that you can do where you do fire off both. And the idea is to just, you know, have the brain 
basically trying to push or or stimulate both uh, muscles at the same time even though the tricep is an antagonist to the bicep and vice versa um, so the, you know there there's some sort of some nuances in this process you, you want to create as much stimulation from your environment as possible and these things are involved with muscles and muscle tightening and so on and so forth and the idea is to work with your natural uh, neurological processes um, let's see what else. So the there there was an exercise program I remember that, that came out. Um, it was a while back now, but it wasn't created until like let's say a couple decades after I came across my exercises. But um, I noted that they were very similar to the exercises I would do when when I first came up with the these workouts to stimulate your brain for maximum neurogenesis, maximum focus. And um, it, it was called P90X. I'm not sure if it's still around, I think it is, but it's an older workout system and I would highly recommend, you know, if you're first starting off, you wanna know what to do, I would suggest trying to get your hands on that exercise program um, and then work with that uh, for the first two hours in order to really get your mind super focused. Now. Aside from the Superman move where, where you're laying on the ground and, you know, um, trying to keep your arms off the ground and your, your, your head, um, there's also, like I mentioned, sprinting. Now, after you get through the focus uh, portion of the exercises that I, I came across, and you start working more with now energy, the flow state, frequency, um, you there's a powerful, super powerful position, and that involves putting your hands up and looking up along the lines of gravity, or now, you know, I kind of say, you put your third eye against the lines of gravity, which is straight down, um, essentially. And now I used to just do my eyes, but you know, I, I like the third eye concept, so I just, you know, add that in there. Um, what you're doing obviously when you have your hands up like this and the the uh, point is to open up sort of energy channels in the way in the way of a uh, toroidal flow if you don't know what a toroid is you know look it up google it and get an idea of it so it i believe it cr it creates it makes your body into a sort of a tuning fork so you have your hands out your your legs apart you're looking up you're firing off the extensor muscles, obviously, when you're looking up. And uh, one thing to note, you know, as I've kind of studied different religions, attended different churches, there are some I noted where when people are praising uh, Source, their God, their uh, vision of what Source is, they tend to hold their hands up. Or, you know, if you see someone who wins uh, in, in the Olympics, hands up, you know, I don't think these things are chance. It's a, it's a sort of an opening up of this energy and, and connecting to a higher source. And it just happens that it fires off your extensor muscles, which causes more focus and so on and so forth. So those are the exercises that I would add on to, um, the, you know, different workouts and every time, you know, it's different. One day you want to push yourself in a certain way, like let's say stretching or, or uh, jumping higher or, you know, uh, trying to run in place quicker for longer, et cetera, et cetera. You know, this is a process where you have to have fun. You're always wanting to push yourself. And as far as exercise goes, I have two rules and I hate rules, but I think these are necessary. First rule is don't get injured. Very important, obviously that would set you back. But um, the second rule is to push yourself as far as you can go without breaking rule number one. So the idea is that you want to push yourself and uh, initiate pain, but a healthy pain, not an injury kind of pain. And the reason why is because you want to push yourself to the point where your body has to adapt to become stronger whether physically or endurance-wise or uh, stamina, you know, there are different, all different kinds of ways that you could approach this and really it comes up 
down to what you feel like doing that day. You have to keep it fun. So that's all the information I have. Uh, is Well, I always have more information, but the idea is that those are the exercises that I would focus on and I would practice and that worked for me. And remember that these exercises are supposed to essentially focus your brain the most, stimulate the brain, your brain the most. And these are all ways you could use your body to do that. Um, you know, aside from that, you could use external uh, stimulus, external stimulus, like sound, light, uh, so on and so forth. I would use red light. Um, and it turns out there are some interesting properties to red light. I mean, I learned this decades later. I just happened to tap into wanting to use that at the time. And like I said, I think I was divine some of this information. I'll put uh, some links on things I was referring to in, um, in the comment section. And always, if you like what you hear, you've learned something, please like and subscribe and share. It's very important for the YouTube algorithm or the Facebook algorithm. And we want more people to know about this because it's important that we maximize ourselves and start learning that the body and mind connection is a lot more powerful than we've understood. Thank you.